I'm going to show you how to build a class tree using last year samples. So I have a section 15 from last year file here. It's faster. As you could see, it has an out group on the top and then trimmed context sequences of um, student isolates and also top matches. So I'm going to use this file to build a tree. I go into Maskit, open file, find my section 15 here, text document, I say faster, say yes. So I've got my sequences here. I want to align them now. Metrics. Align multiple sequences, muscle. And I press no here. This is my muscle software. And it does the job for me. I'll pause because it may take some time. Oh, never mind. It's been quick. My next task here is to trim uh, the sequences so they're approximately all the same size. To do that, I select holding a shift button. I've selected the area which I want to delete. See, it's dark gray. And I press backspace. It's asking, are you sure do you want to delete? And I say, yes, I do. I do the same. So now it starts more or less evenly here. I'm going to the other side of my sequence. As you can see, this is an interesting example because I have um, one sample which is too short compared to everybody else. I don't want to trim all my samples to the short one outlier because then the sequence is too short and the tree will not be realistic so i kind of want to go and see where the majority of sequences are so that's somewhere here now we're losing two sequences and it's around 900 base pairs so that sounds good to me i am selecting And all the way down to the last base, click Shift, select, backspace, and click Yes. So now I have a sequence which more or less evenly covers everybody fairly. Now I can do build a tree. Uh, the tree is in tree interference, tree search, mask it. So here students often click at tree links, which is not the right one. We're going down here and click the tree links from here and say OK and OK and OK. So I'm pausing here because it may take some time. So now my tree is ready and I need to make some sense out of it. The first thing I want to do is um, specify the root of the tree, which is this archaeobacteria. Now we can use a ladderize tool to make sure our tree is nice and organized. Then in a the display, we can change the orientation so it's easier to read our tree. Same here in our display font size. I like my font size to be 18 at least, so it's easy to read. So as you could see, this tree is easy to read and it makes sense. But Silas is uh, organized together. Now rise up and Sarum are organized together. So it's always a nice check to double check that your alignment went through properly that the tree must have some sense. Now let's save the tree. To save the tree, we go to File and Save Tree as PDF. Save the tree. And we'll call it our test tree. 
function. Save. Our tree is ready to go.